everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And today's review is in association with JediInsider.com, your number one news source for everything Star Wars. And today I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch scale Supreme Leader Snoke with Throne from Hasbro. Now this figure is being sold as a GameStop exclusive. It is available now. You can pick it up off the GameStop website. It's also hitting GameStop stores. It comes packaged in a very similar style packaging we see with all the Black Series. Now because of the throne and everything, it is a little bit bigger than the packaging for a normal action figure. So we've got the window box and the figures clearly displayed inside. Up at the top you've got the Star Wars Black Series logo. And then down here in the corner you've got the name of the character. And on this side you've got some artwork for the character. On the one side of the packaging you have the red border. Now because this is an exclusive, a store exclusive, there's no numbering on this one. And then on the back of the packaging we again have an image of Snoke and then a brief bio in multiple languages. Alright, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with the throne. Now there is some minor assembly with the throne. We'll set the figure off to the side here for a minute. So with the throne you've got this little foot stand that you pop in the front here. You've got the little hole. So all you do is you just uh, slide it in there and it pops into place. So nothing major but just a little bit of assembly there. Now the only accessory that this figure comes with is the actual throne. And I like the detailing on it. I mean I haven't seen it that clearly in the movie but you've got some detailing here on the seat with some lines sculpted in there so it looks like an actual cushion. And then you've got some darker uh, gray colors here on the back of the chair with some lighter gray. And then on the sides you've got some controls there. On both sides and then even on the back you've got some sculpting detail so I like that you know it looks like something you would see in a, an Imperial or First Order command center so definitely liking this and looks better than the Emperor's throne that we saw in Return of the Jedi so only thing is I don't think this rotates it doesn't look like something that would rotate so I don't know that's probably the only downside to the throne from practicality wise but toy wise I think it's definitely kind of a cool display piece Okay, so for the figure itself, the first thing I want to note, when I first took it out of the packaging, I did have some string already coming off the bottom of the robe. The robe is a soft goods type material, so not a big deal. I'm just going to take my scissors here and just kind of cut that off. But, you know, that could be, you know, string unraveling on this could be a problem over time. Definitely right out of the package, I had that piece of string hanging there. Okay, so for the figure itself, I think Hasbro's done a really good job here capturing the look of the character from the movie. As odd as that look is, he's wearing what essentially looks like a big bathrobe and he's got bathroom slippers on. That's what it looks like. Now I like the material they've used for the robe. It, it definitely glitters and picks up the light nicely. What I like the most about this figure though is the head sculpt. I think they've done a really good job of nailing that with the scarring and the big gashes on the back of his forehead and on the front and everything. So we only got to see Snoke as a hologram in, in Force Awakens but we got a pretty good look at his face and again I think they've done a good job here. You've got some nice paint wash with some purple type color so it almost looks like it's bruised. Parts of his face are bruised. So I don't know what the deal with this guy is, why his face is all messed up like this, but, but definitely I think they did a good job of capturing the look from the movie. So I've zoomed in here to give you a better look at his shoes. Definitely looks like he's wearing bath slippers of some type. Fancy bath slippers, but that's what they look like, slippers. And they're done with a metallic gold. And there's some nice sculpting detail on these, some line work, so it looks like they're fancy shoes. I wouldn't be surprised if these are actually made with gold or something. And then you also notice that you can see his skin here. And I like how they've made his skin really wrinkly so he looks like an old man. So I like that detailing. And I'll open up the robe here in a minute to give you a better look at what's underneath. And no, he's not freeballing it. He's also got this ring, which we don't really know what this ring is. But it looks like it's a big uh, gem or something. I've heard rumors that maybe it's one of the crystals used to power lightsabers. And also what was used to power the weapons on the Death Star. So I don't know if that's what that is or not. It's just done, looks like black, and then you've got a, a gold band for the actual ring. And it sticks out, so definitely you could poke somebody's eye out with that thing. And on his hands, I also want to point out with the detailing on his fingers, you can see his fingernails are actually a darker color. So I like that added detail on the hands. Okay, and then the robe itself, like I mentioned before, this is a completely soft goods item. 
However, you can't actually fully take the robe off. You can open it up. This belt piece, it just actually snaps. It looks like it's supposed to be a buckle, but it actually just snaps. And I like the metallic gold and sculpting detail on it. And I like how this piece hangs down. Again, looks very reminiscent of something you would see on a bathrobe. And so you can just unsnap it and remove it if you want to and then it opens up but you can't really take it off i mean if you really wanted to you could but it's basically attached on the figure up here so you'd have to actually pull it off and that might damage and probably would look kind of funny if you did but again it's not really meant to be fully taken off but you can open it up and you can see he's got this white strange jumpsuit that he's wearing underneath and you've got some line work here on the top part of the shirt and it looks like something you would see worn on Tatooine or something and then he's got just the white pants which are pulled up on the leg now one thing I do want to note on mine I do have a little bleeding of skin tone onto the pants here I don't think I don't know maybe it's supposed to be because it's on both legs so maybe it's just supposed to be dirt but it kind of looks like the skin tone is just washed up on the legs a little bit so I don't know if that's on purpose or not I don't know why his pants would be so dirty if he's just sitting around in his bathrobe on his throne but anyway um, also again here I want to note with the skin how wrinkly it looks around the neck I think they did a really good job with that and matches the face and the head sculpt really nice so overall just nice detailing same with the hands the hands look really wrinkly and you've got some wash effect on the hands so he definitely looks like an old shrivel up man now Snoke is a character that definitely stands on the tall side I don't know if he was a basketball player in a former life but he stands the figure stands just a hair over seven inches tall and here's a comparison with the force awakens kylo ren the unmasked version and then huxley and here's a comparison with his elite guard so this is the one that comes in the box set with the other guards and then that's the single pack version so for articulation you can turn the head to the left and to the right and he doesn't have much down movement or up movement with the head you can pivot it to the left and the right a bit though arms attach with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder so you can get his arm out good and he's got pretty good rotation even with the robe on you get pretty good rotation there at the shoulder he has a bicep swivel i can feel the bicep swivel in there and then it feels like he's got a double hinged elbow so he can bend his elbow good and then he's got swivels at the wrist and hinges on the hand so he's got really good up and down movement with the hands then he's got a midsection joint so he's got rotation there at the midsection doesn't really have any pivot or crunch there at the midsection just rotation and then he does not have a waist swivel legs are attached with ball joints and can only do the splits about that much then he can get his leg forward good and he can do his leg out and back he's got a thigh swivel he's got a double jointed knee so good bending at the knee and then he's got hinges on the feet so good up and down movement with the feet and he does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet okay so i've got snoke sitting in his throne here wait a minute that's not snoke is it hmm okay so here's the real snoke and you can see he sits in the throne pretty good no problems with him falling out and you can move it around and he still doesn't fall out too easily if you shake it too much he might but overall he does sit in the throne pretty good okay so that's my review so i would say the positives of this figure is hasbro did a really nice job with the overall sculpting detail and nailing the likeness of the character i really like the scarring on the head sculpt and the paint applications are solid as well even on the hands i think they did a really good job with the sculpting detail the soft goods robe actually i think works pretty well with this figure I'm not a fan of soft goods on a lot of the figures in this line, but with this particular one, I think it actually looks pretty good. Ones like Tatooine, Luke, I really hate the soft goods and wish they had done sculpting. Now, one of the downsides of this figure is I have had strings already kind of falling off on the robe, and over time that could definitely wear thin, literally, so that's something you would want to be wary of. But for the overall look, I think they actually did a pretty good job with it. Now the only other downside I have with this figure is just the cost. This GameStop exclusive version with the throne is going to cost you about $40. I think this probably should only cost about $30, the $20 for the figure, and then $10 for the plastic throne, but that's just me. Now if you do want to get this figure without the throne, and I do like the throne, I think the throne actually looks pretty good, but if you do want to get the figure without the throne and not pay, have to pay as much, this figure is being released in the regular line. And as far as I know of, the figure, the regular release figure is exactly the same as this one. You just don't get the throne. 
Also, just a note about the throne, I've heard that the Kylo Ren Walmart exclusive version that has a diorama piece with it is compatible with this throne. I don't know 100% if that's accurate, but I have heard that. So if you're looking to expand your throne room, that's something you might want to check out. Now this set is available now at GameStop, as I mentioned before. We'll have a full image gallery up at JediInsider.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like this video and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later.